Professor Greg Washington, Dean of the Henry Sam Welling School of Engineering, I want to thank you for sitting down with me in this conversation. And I'd like to know if you can reflect on what diversity, equity, and inclusion means to you during your career. Mm -hmm. Well, for, so obviously for me it means everything, right? Being that I come from a diverse population. But I will tell you that uh, the real problems that we're dealing with uh, our unprecedented rate of change in terms of how technology is moving, our unprecedented global competitors, our unprecedented issues as it relates to uh, the challenges, the grand challenges that we're facing as a country, they require all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough, we're not pr producing enough engineers in particular to solve the challenges of our country and to uh, help us to maintain a standard, the same standard of living mm -hmm. that we have today. We're just not producing enough. And um, despite what people have heard, the global picture isn't much better. Oh, Many really? of our competitive huh. countries aren't producing enough as well. Huh. And that's for a couple of reasons. The big one is that uh, we have some really significant problems in front of us that are really going to take a, a large number of people to solve. Give me an example. So, uh, I can, I'll give you an example of, uh, you know, I, we categorize about 22, 23 of them. Uh, but one of them is decaying infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, every uh, other year, the American Society of Civil Engineers uh, does a study of the whole country. It looks at the health of the aqueducts, bridges, dams, mm -hmm. our levees our roads, our airports, and it gives the country a grade. And uh, last time out, we got a D minus. A what? A D minus as a country. That's not passing. So that means <laughs> that, well, it, it, it's passing if you're at UCLA. <laughs> 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 no, so, so that's right, it's not passing. And uh, what that means, uh, though, from a cost standpoint, is that it's going to be about three trillion dollars hmm. using today's technologies, today's methods, hmm. and today's resources in order to solve that problem. Hmm. That number could be substantially less if we change the way in which we think about the problem. I see. Do you, 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 yeah. you understand? So yeah. that's so so that's just one. Um, 30% of the, about 30% of the bridges and overpasses across the country are structurally deficient or functionally obsolete. It means they can't carry the loads in which they were designed to carry. And then we have this issue of climate change, mm -hmm. right? Where we are seeing dramatic changes in our climate. Uh, just since 2010, we have had seven, what we call biblical rain events hmm. in this country, seven. You're talking rains on the average of an inch a minute, I mean an inch an hour. Wow. And uh, uh, the latest one being in South Carolina caused nine deaths. Uh, our climate is indeed changing. Uh, there's uh, growing evidence to suggest, not to suggest, and the growing body of scientists realize that, it's, uh, that it is man-made. And uh, many of us are beyond trying to figure out how we stop it. Right. We're now in the planning stages of what do we do yeah, to, manage to actually manage and deal with it. Because you're going to see the changes. They are going to be dramatic. And, and, and we're going to have to redesign whole cities. We're going to have to redesign whole countries. So where does the manpower from that come from? Well, that leads me to back and to so, diversity. So, yeah. Well, so the reason why diversity is important, it, especially in this country, is that 50% of our population right, mm -hmm. will be non-white in a very small period of time. Already, if you look at our high schools mm -hmm. and our elementary schools uh, today, that has already been the case. Right. In 2011, more non-white babies were born in this country than white babies mm -hmm. for the whole country. And so we know that in order to solve those problems, you're just going to have to have people. Right. And the overwhelming majority of those individuals who are untapped right. are people from diverse backgrounds. Wow. And so we're going to need them and we're going to, and, 
and, and we're going to need them at the same levels that we have Caucasian students involved in this kind of entity now. And let me and, ask, and that's and that's no simple feat. Well, let me ask you before we wrap up, what is a message that can help people, institutions, organizations understand that the solutions to the future require diverse problem solvers? So uh, the way I think about it is investing in a diverse population is not about helping one specific group or another group. Really, diversing, uh, investing in diverse populations is about helping the whole country. Right. We will not be able to, we just won't have enough people to solve the problems that we need to solve, right. to invent the technologies that we need to invent, to solve the problems created from the technologies that we have invented and ha that we will invent and have invented. Right. You just won't have enough people unless you bring in uh, f individuals from diverse populations and, and unless we bring in more women. So in the sciences and engineering, you know, women are only about 20% right. of the bachelor degree in engineering workforce. They're 50% of the population. Right. And so there's a whole cohort of people who are just not getting engaged. Right. And um, so the primary message is we're going to need them. We, don't, we, we will not have enough people to solve our problems. Right. We're gonna need large numbers of people hmm. and where are the untapped talent? It's in underrepresented minorities and it's in women. So that's why diversity is important. Dean Washington, thank you. <laughs> thank you.